Scottish walking trails. We're chasing Storm Callum. We've headed down to Porth Leven. Storm chasing. Storm Callum has been in the news. It is ferocious. It was up, we were up in the night. We could hear the wind and fortunately we've got no damage. We've come over here to Porth Leven. The truth was a bit flat. This isn't. This is BBC Radio Cornwall. Cornwall's News at 10. I'm Martha Dixon. Western Power is trying to restore electricity to hundreds of homes in Cornwall this morning as Storm Callum hits the county. Several roads are blocked with branches and debris amid strong winds and rain. Christine Butler is in Fourth Leven. The sea is doing its utmost to kind of breach the sea wall, slapping over here on some of the cobbles just by where all the shops are. And um, there have been few people around, mainly people with, uh, you know, lenses trying to get some shots of what it's like here in Fourth Leven uh, when there's a high tide and there's a storm. Like it, and I'm not looking forward to the journey home neither. <laughs> On the Isles of Scilly, the wind was recorded earlier at 76 miles an hour. There were also predicted waves of up to seven metres high. Dale Clark is the harbour master on St Mary's. Very rough indeed. Uh, big, big swell and big seas forecast as the day goes on. I mean, the, the wave heights predicted for uh, over seven metres today. Uh, I mean, there's been a lot of preparation. This, the, the, this storm has been forecast pretty well uh, over the past week or so. So lots of people getting boats out of the water or getting their boats into areas of shelter. Thank you. 